Hey folks, this is Ben from MeshTastic, and I wanted to do a quick kind of walkthrough of the ATAC plugin for MeshTastic. Now, this is not the ATAC forwarder. This is the official MeshTastic ATAC plugin that we're going to be going over today. Um, and I'm not going to walk you through the full ATAC itself setup. Uh, I'm going to assume you've already gotten ATAC uh, installed from uh, ATAC.gov or the uh, the Google Play Store. There's a couple different places you could get it from. I always recommend TAC.gov uh, just because that is uh, it's where ATAC comes from. Uh, so you can go download the APK there. You have to create an account. Uh, but you can get it from the Play Store. Just make sure that you're on the, uh, the basically the latest version of that. Uh, it should be supported. Um, so after you do that, uh, I recommend that you go ahead and get set up with MeshTastic uh, Android, the, the Android app. Now, there's several ways you can do that. You can go to the Google Play Store. You can get it from there. You can get it from uh, F-Droid. But you can also go and just download the APK manually from, from the uh, GitHub. So you can do that and grab the, uh, the latest uh, stable or alpha if you're feeling a little bit adventurous there. Um, I always recommend trying to stay on the latest possible um, release. Uh, and uh, worth mentioning also, you're going to want to make sure that you've got your devices on the latest uh, stable or alpha release. Um, so go ahead and, and make sure your devices are flashed with that uh, before you actually um, attempt to, to pair and get everything set up within the Android app. So the first thing that we do here um, is we're going to make sure that we can connect to our device. So I'm going to go ahead and connect. Uh, now, if you're doing this for the first time, uh, what you want to make sure is that you have your region set, your LoRa region. If you're dealing with a fresh device, you'll see that it, it'll actually be unset here. Um, and that's because MeshTastic is a multi-regional uh, um uh, ISM band uh, device so so you you know we have to basically uh, try to make sure that we are in compliance with uh, different regions ISM band in my, in my case I'm US so I'm gonna set US so that's gonna put us on on the 900 megahertz um, spectrum so after you do that you want to go to your radio configuration and go to device and we're going to set the role to TAC. Normally, this would be set up as client, but I've already got this guy set up as TAC. And what TAC role does is it actually, and after you do that, you want to hit send, so it'll send it to the device. After you do that, uh, it will actually set up your device to kind of get out of the way of uh, the uh, MeshTastic stuff and kind of let ATAC um, basically control more of the more of the uh, the radio duty cycle because mesh tastic sends a lot of a lot of beacons and positions and stuff that ATAC doesn't know about but we have some new uh, ATAC plugin um, native packets built into mesh tasting now um, that uh, basically wire optimize all of the stuff coming out of ATAC which you're about to get to so so you want to check that tack role um, that that's that's my recommendation. And you see, I've already got um, I've already got this guy set up as well. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go back over here and get this guy uh, going. So after we're connected, um, want to make sure that you can message um, between the two devices, right? Um, make sure all of your devices can communicate. Um, within the MeshTastic app before you start to introduce ATAC and the plugin. That's that's my recommendation. Start with the defaults, then introduce variables later. That's a, that's the best way to, to do this. Um, you don't want to try to configure everything all at once, and then when things don't work, you're having to remove variables. So do that first. Send, send some chat messages just over the MeshTastic app. Um, okay, so now that we've got that going... Um, and we've got ATAC set up, um, which is a, a whole process in and of itself that I'm not going to go into in this video. Uh, we're going to go over to the uh, ATAC plugin uh, GitHub. So 
if you go to meshtastic uh, slash ATAC plugin uh, slash releases, you can grab the latest one from here. Okay, so after I have uh, downloaded the meshtastic ATAC plugin, I think I've actually already got this downloaded, but we're going to go ahead and open it. And it's going to ask me if I want to install the plugin, and I do want to. You might have to enable um, whatever you're you're opening the download with. Um, you might have to enable it to be able to install APKs. Um, that's something that definitely occurs. So I'm going to go back here to MeshTastic, and so I'm connected to my device. That's good. Now I'm going to go ahead and open ATAC. And this is again the late. I just downloaded this one from uh, tag.gov. Um, this one is actually from the Google Play Store. So just show you that you can use either one. I think previously you could not necessarily use the uh, version from the Google Play Store, but I believe that's been fixed now. So now to actually set up our uh, ATAC plugin, we're going to go down here to from the hamburger menu to plugins. Um, Okay, now we've got this guy right here. See, ATAC plugin not loaded. Um, it's and it says it's current, but it's not loaded. But let's go ahead and load that. Okay, boom. It says it's loaded, so we should be good. Um, so now let's go over here to GeoChat. All right, check that out. So we've got little mesh tastic icon. Oh. We've got the Meshtastic icon down there in the corner. So that's what you want to see. That means we're connected. We've got the Android app running. So it's it's actually kind of uh, proxying that information from the Android app's uh, intents into the uh, into ATAC uh, via the plugin. So now if this is working correctly, we should be able to send a message because I'm connected to this device and this device. Uh, and I just want to show you by the way, um, so that there's no doubt here. So we don't have a um, any Wi-Fi connection here. There's no network connection with this. So um, this is not going over TCP IP. This is only LoRa uh, via MeshTastic. So I'm just gonna send a test message here and it should fire over um, the mesh and pop up here in chat rooms. Oh yeah, you see a little notification? There we go. And I should be able to send one back. Um, let's just say reply. All right. So there you go. That's uh, how to get started with the MeshTastic ATAC plugin. And I recommend that you, um, again, make sure that you get your devices set up and talking in the app first, and then introduce ATAC. Um, so we're gonna be working on some improvements with this, uh, but one of the things that we've been working really hard on is wire optimizing all of this stuff so that it goes really fast over the MeshTastic uh, protocol. Because it is a low bandwidth protocol, um, the traditional methods of communication with TAC are just are just too big. Uh, the packets are too big. So we've been working on wire optimizing GeoChats and uh, the PLI. And that stuff is really fast right now in my experience. We're gonna be working on some of the other things that can kind of be wire optimized potentially in the future. Uh, like markers, um, but stay on the lookout for that. And that's all I got.